I'm Stan Mazur. I'm a computer designer by trade. I spent 30 years in Silicon Valley. I had lived in Belgium and traveled in France extensively. Got interested in chateaus, having seen pictures of this particular chateau in a magazine. My wife and I went to France and uh, took 60 photographs of it. Herbie II is a name that we've invented because the chateau is a copy of the original chateau built in Normandy in 1630. That chateau is named Iberto, so we think Herbie II is close as you can get in English to Iberto. The chateau in Ashland was built over a 10-year period in four building stages, and one of the objectives was to reproduce fairly faithfully the chateau that we visited in Normandy in 1996, and also to build with green construction using styrofoam blocks, geothermal heat pump, and solar electric. There are 20,000 chateaus in France, and uh, this one is based on the neoclassic design. A characteristic of them is they're very long and very narrow. One of the reasons is there was no electricity in chateau days, and so the light came from the outside, from the front and back. Being narrow, they had no hallways. The room simply abutted. After entering the foyer, we go to the left, which is the study or library. Uh, this room is also about 15 and a half feet uh, deep and around 22 feet long. It's got wood paneling. The floor is uh, Brazilian cherry. The ceiling is a design called a tray ceiling. And we see in the closet on the end that the house is built of styrofoam blocks, which is made from recycled polystyrene peanuts mixed in with concrete. The blocks are glued together. And so we have a building which is green construction using recycled polystyrene. There are three prominent pieces of artwork in the study. One is the painting of a young boy who died at age uh, 15, and his parents had it painted posthumously of him. He's in uniform and standing by a horse, and in that painting there's a picture of our chateau on the right-hand side. In the center wall is a painting by Coypel, who was the painter for Louis XV, and it was the painter's brother who was painted in this case. I had this redone in China and my face painted in. The painting over the fireplace is a painting of my wife entitled The Mysterious Princess in Blue. As a minor point, the dress she was wearing was a bright flowery print, and the artist indicated that it would be a poor choice for this painting, so he painted it as a blue dress. So it's partly mythical and partly real. From the foyer, we move back to the garden room. The garden room is 32 feet long and 16 feet deep and has a back porch is in the center of the house. And uh, in the early stages of the house development, this was both the living room and dining room of the chateau. The main stairwell of the, of the chateau is off the foyer, goes up to the right, and we have what's called the trump d'oeil, or a fake uh, picture to give the illusion that there's a room up above uh, with a window. To the right of the foyer is the living room. The living room has a paneled uh, finish with stencil decorations. The room is green with gold. Uh, we have a relatively high ceiling in this room, uh, also painted with a um, decor stripe around the top. There's a fireplace uh, with a cut sandstone. The floor is a Versailles tile, wooden floor, one meter square tiles, a one inch thick red oak, uh, cut in a, a diagonal uh, pattern. Moving from the living room, we go into the dining room of the chateau. This is a copy of, or modeled after the Frick Museum, the Fragnart Room, and we have a, a large dining room, about 18 feet deep and uh, 25 feet long. In this room, we have uh, gold moldings and four paintings uh, imitation fragonarts called the uh, suite of four phases of love. At the right end of the building we are in the breakfast room. The breakfast room is done in a provincial decoration style, a little less formal than the other rooms. It has windows on several sides to let in a lot of light and would be the main uh, place that the family has their meals. The feature in the back is a uh, 67,000 gallon pond that's fed uh, from Talent Irrigation District the water runs around the pond and then out to Bear Creek. The pond is 60 foot in diameter. There is a 12 foot gazebo made of marble coming from China. And uh, there's a little bridge on the back to get to the island that's in the middle of the pond where the gazebo sits. And in addition, there are two marble statues left and right of the gazebo. I brought this 25 acres in 1996. The idea was to build the first stage as a summer home, get familiar with the construction material, the contractors, and the site. Having done that and lived in it for two years, we then decided to proceed with the other stages, which has been a total of four stages over a period of eight years, perhaps, of construction. <laughs>